Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Well, today I'm going to be working in my junk journal July uh, journal, and this is a collaboration by Meg Journals and Get Messy Art. And if you go to um, a link below for Meg's Meg Journals um, YouTube, and you can go and get the uh, if you would like it and I can't get words out again so this is what it there's one word per day for your prompt and that makes it pretty easy and today I'm on day 10 and it's thread and I gotta say too if you're following this I got a little out of order today posting my um, pages I posted eight before seven so I'm sorry <laughs> seven is loading right now I think that's what it is I think that's where I I posted this one before this one, whatever, yeah, uh-huh, this is window and this is observe and I, I put seven is loading right now, so anyway, okay, I'll show you some of the things I pulled, I honestly, I don't know what I'm doing except for she's going on there, she's a little big, but I'm going to make her work, um, I don't know if I can put something down here to kind of, you know, beside her to kind of hide her foot and then bring it back bring it down so you can't tell that's what I'm kind of thinking these are some stickers I recently got I know I'm not going to use that one or the, that one but um, I, this one and this one I'm thinking of for down here and I want to use a sewing machine I've got these three this one might be the best, or it could be this one. I don't know. It's got buttons, and this has just got like a sewing cabinet area. This has got thread. This one would work too, and this one would work. Maybe I'll do that one. Okay, the first thing I want to do is cut the white off of that. I'll leave these up here. In case I change my mind somewhere along the line. The only thing I don't like about it is it's so pink. I just, I'm not crazy about all that pink. Where's the other thread one that I had my mind on? This one? This one might go better. This one's going to be harder to cut around. <laughs> I just got to get some of the white off. I don't know why these stickers have to have such a big white. Although the this set is um, definitely smaller than the other some of the others that I got in my order. Some of them have a really wide white space on them, and I don't know why, but it just bugs me. It always has. Way back when I was scrapbooking all the time and buying a lot of stickers for that, I hated the white edge on some stickers, even when it was popular. Of course, it's, you know, just because it's popular doesn't mean I've ever done it in scrapbooking. But, um, I anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. My husband came in the door and kind of startled me and I forgot my train of thought. I wasn't expecting him to come in yet. He startled me. Okay, that's better. So maybe this will go right here to kind of hide her. I can cut her foot off and then bring her down like that. I didn't want to print her again. And my next choice, like this was the 8x10 print of it. And the next choice was five by seven. So that would have been teeny weeny. I've got this out, I'm gonna stamp. I've got these stamps and I wanna stamp one of these, probably this one, and wrap some thread around it. So, and then I've got the pattern for this and I wanna put some of it on here. This is a very old pattern. Oh, look, look what's in here. Oh, I didn't know that was in there. Look. 
look at that. Two for one. <laughs> uh, you know what, you guys? This this pattern. How did they even do this? There is nothing on this. Nothing at all. No writing. Is that how patterns used to come? This looks like a sleeve piece. I'll take that out. But there is no writing. I don't know. Maybe they came cut. And then you just matched them up. I don't know. That's really strange to me. I'm thinking I will use some of this. This looks like the shirt that I've got there. So I think I will cut that out. I mean, because this pattern is no good for anybody to ever use. There might be somebody out there that can, but this is the Hollywood Pattern Company. I'd say it's from the 40s. That looks like 40s to me. I wonder if this one is the same. This one doesn't have the pattern in it. Whoever owned these didn't take very good care of them. I know that. <laughs> oh, 15 cents for the pattern. Okay. Find a place to set that. Okay, and then I got this. I if I have if I like need something to put down, I thought I would do accomplishment. Like if I need a filler, you know. And I had kind of thought about one of these clips to hold the pattern piece down. Like it's holding it down. But we'll see. But I definitely do that. And then I have my stitches stamp. And I pulled this out because I saw this. I have a question that has the perfect sewing stuff in it, but I couldn't find it. You know, the other day I couldn't find, a, oh, it was my gnome collection that I couldn't find. And this would go really good with this, I think. The very next day, I knew it would happen. I even said that, I think, in the video. The very next day, I came in here and I moved some stuff, and there it was. <laughs> I was like, why couldn't I pick that out yesterday? Here is a smaller piece of that. I just couldn't figure out why. Why couldn't I have done that the day before? But I just couldn't see it the day before. And then this has some sewing stuff in it. But I don't know like if the two are gonna match. I kinda think I like that with the buttons. Swim ahead. <laughs> Some of these pages I have together, I can't figure out like why is that in there? There's two of them in there. I found another one today that I was going through that I thought, what did I do that for? Oh well. Okay, so I think, let's see, maybe I will cover the page with this. Oops, it's got to be this page. Where am I going? <laughs> I can't do that. That'll mess it up. Okay, so let's mark this. Get right there and... Right there. Okay. And I think I'll just use my rotary or my guillotine. It'll fit on there. Like something just came off. I probably want to. I keep losing the feet on this. I see. I only have one left now. I don't know where it went. But I bet you that's what it was. And I don't know why. I'm not hard on this thing. It sits on a shelf below me. It and the deco one. Okay. Let's 
Let's put some ink on this. I need to move this stuff over so I have placed ink. I was I saw thread and I thought, oh, I've got to use a pattern lady. I haven't used a pattern lady for so long. And I love them. I love sewing theme. I don't sew very much anymore, but um, I used to sew all the time. That was my first hobby at an embroidery, um, cross stitch and embroidery and sewing. That was my favorite part of home action in school was the sewing part. I loved it. on here and then figure out what I'm doing with the buttons. Oops. I can't I can get these pages apart so I can See what I'm doing here. It might have went over. Yeah, it went over a little bit. Where's my up there? These are my glue scissors. I keep forgetting to clean these up real good, and then ask my husband to. Sharpen them. Maybe I'll remember that tonight. <laughs> I think of things when I'm using them, and then by the time I get done with whatever I'm done doing, I've forgotten. And I just realized I don't have my, my um, heat heating up glue guns on. Okay, so now let's cut this down. would be embossed. I have one of these that's embossed somewhere. But I'm okay with it not being embossed. I'm going to cut over so that I don't lose that because I know I'm not going to use all of the buttons and I would rather cut into the button and not lose the stitching in case I want it for something else. I'm just cutting this down so that um, I can figure out what to do with it. And I'm thinking I will tear it, but let's kind of get some other stuff figured out here, too. Okay, we're going to put her about right here. And what happened? <laughs> I lost my thread. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is right there. So if I put that right there... My ink. See if I can get some ink on that. Not with that one. This one. Oh, oh. I was watching a video <laughs> before I, while I was gathering things, and I just accidentally turned it on. I'm watching somebody um, show a the Paper Doll Collage Soup book. I kind of have that in my car and thought I'd like to have it, but. Um, I don't think I'm going to want it, so I'm glad somebody, you know, posted that. Okay, so see, I'll put her, that foot will go there, and then she's going to fit almost perfect. And then I'll put this right there. So that's how that's going to go. And then this, I will tear this down. I don't know, I may not need the buttons. 
you know what, this could go behind her like that. And then this could go here, maybe like that. Now let's do a little bit of stamping. I think, let's see, let me see this. See, I think one of these will look cute with that. Probably just this little one. I want a short one. Maybe that one. And I wonder if I could stamp it on something besides this. Something pretty. Let's see what we got in here. Try to use what I have right here. Just the flowers. I don't know if I have any silver paper. I do. I do. Just a second. But that's not going to stamp on silver. So that's not going to work. That idea is out the door because it won't stamp on it. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's just going to slide even if I use my stays on, which I do have new stays on, but I don't think I'll get it and I'll try it. Let me take my scissors because what I have, I just buy a big poster board and use that. Gonna see, you know, how stays on usually has like a plastic piece that goes over it, you gotta take off after you open it, but I don't see one. Giving it a second. Well, it's kind of off right there, but I cut that off. We'll see. This off. Get that stays on off there quickly. Okay. Now I want to stamp. Maybe maybe I'll stamp the thread on here, and then the top and the bottom will be really pretty. We'll see how that works. I haven't ever used this set before. There is a gnat flying around me. I'll probably cut that part of the thread off of there so I can wrap my own thread around it. This is like the label, you know, that comes on the top 
up your thread. Okay, I think that looks kind of cool. Stamp. Let's do this one. This one's a little bigger. That one's tiny. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, I set it up there. I was about to say, I'm not even sure where I put it. Okay, I need a drink real quick. I've been having problems with my throat the last week or so. Now, what did I do? My cutter piece of scissors. They're not up here where they belong. They're there. Right there. I thought I'd just used them, had I? <laughs> And this, I'm not going to worry about getting all those little loopy loops because I'm going to cover it. So it doesn't matter if it's there. I hope I'm going to cover it. I hope my idea works. So if you're doing junk Journal July, and I haven't like been to your channel and watched and commented, then let me know, and I will go watch. I'm always looking for new channels, and I like to support other people too, watch their videos, so like and comment so that it helps them out. I think that's something fun we can do for each other. sure didn't get that perfect, but it will be okay. We have to go out of town tomorrow. I have a doctor appointment. And while we're there, there's a Target there. We're going to go see if I can get my storage bins that I like. I am hoping so. I looked online and they're not available online. So I'm hoping that it wasn't just, you know, that that store that I was at, because it's a store I don't go to very often. I'm hoping it wasn't that they just had, still had some. Because they had a full income, in cap of them. So you'd think if they were leftovers, they wouldn't have a full in cap. But I don't know. We'll see. I hope so. I really want to get things organized better. Okay, so for this, I put this thread. I hope this will work okay with that. That's going to really clash. Let me grab a different one. Uh, I think I'll just go with brown. I'll go to brown. Or maybe, no, oh, I see one up there that'll work better. I'm looking at that and it'll work better with that. This one will look good. So I'm going to put a little piece of tape there. Just a tiny one. Okay. And then I'll just do some wrapping. This is going to take a bit, isn't it? <laughs> I don't even think about that. How long it would take. All I got to do is get it pretty well covered. I don't want to be able to see that black thread that was stamped into it. 
I don't care if we can tell the back of the spool, but I don't want to be able to tell that thread is there. I don't know which hand I would use here. getting it right where I want it. It's starting to curl on me too. Okay, I think we're quitting because it's really starting to curl. So I will another piece of tape down. And we got that ready. Okay, oops, that tape went out over the edge. I didn't realize that. Okay, so let me put this up and let's see about this thing. Hey, it's not smearing, you guys. Woohoo. I was kind of thinking of clip, like you have it, you have your little directions clipped up, maybe on your bulletin board or beside you. That's kind of what I was thinking. I'm sorry, I'm not talking when I'm cutting. I'm just trying to cut. I know where that's at. I had mentioned in my last video I made that I um, had bought a little cutting mat and put it in my sewing. And I went in there and looked on my sewing table and couldn't see it, but I just remembered I have a box that I put a bunch of stuff in, organized a bunch of my sewing stuff in, so now I think I know where it's at. So see, this can go like right there. Okay, and then this is going to go below. So I think, well, nope, I want to do one other thing before I glue that down. I want to, where's my stitches? What do I do with those? out of the package. There they are. And I'm going to stamp around the edge. And I think I will use this, um, this zigzag stitch. I have to be careful because these tear. I tore my favorite stitch in half. Oh, I just did so Set things flying. <laughs> I am not even sure where I got these. I don't know if somebody gave them to me or I don't know, but they don't have they didn't have a brand and they weren't they're just in an envelope. So I don't know. I've had them forever. Okay, so we're gonna go around. In the center, like that. I think I better put something under there because I don't think I'll get a very good stamp on this side if I don't. I got a flower, a very 3D flower in here, and it caused me problems on my last time I stamped. I'm going to try this way and see. get 
that where I wanted it. I was having a hard time seeing. <laughs> I'm sorry if that not explaining where you can see it. I hope it's not, but I have a feeling it is because it's getting in my face. All right. So I think the easiest way to put this down would be to use a glue stick. Oh, I just threw one on the table there. Oops, I think this is my one that doesn't work very well. Nope, it does. It works. And it'll dry where I got it, where I didn't cover it. It'll be fine. At least it usually is when I do it. <laughs> okay, I need to cut this off. Okay, so we've got her. And... Got this going right here. I think I will go ahead and put that down. That is so thin, the glue went through it. Is very thin. I'm gonna have to run by Walmart or Hobby Lobby tomorrow and get me a silver poster board. I have gold and red back there, I guess, but I didn't have. And I don't even know why I have red. <laughs> okay, so we've got this one and this one, and then this one flew up here. And I, so I don't know if I'm going to need, I've kind of, no, I don't like that by her. Maybe this one here, and here, and here, and then I can put her right there. Yep, let's cut around this a little bit. I guess I'm using her. I just decided I was, I guess. I don't know. I like her better. I'm going to do her. The room that I have for a craft room used to be my grandma's sewing room years ago when she lived here before us. This was her house and then we bought it after they passed away. And this room that I craft in was her sewing room. And pantry and guest room and it's a tiny, tiny, tiny room. <laughs> She had a little twin bed in here where my aunt could sleep when she came. There was another guest room that had a full-size bed in it, which was a big bed back then. <laughs> but usually us kids slept in that one because there was, you know, so many of us. Well, not there wasn't a bunch of us, but I mean... Us kids couldn't have slept in here in a twin bed, so. Okay. But 
I remember sitting in here at her feet playing with her button, cookie button tin. <laughs> a lot. Okay, so I'm going, I gotta get this up here where you can see it. Got a piece of pattern stuck to my hand. It's going to go right over where it got stained. That's good. Okay. And then I'll put this one down first. It was thread, right? I'm sitting here thinking, what was it? Yeah, it was thread. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Probably should have poked a hole in these, but I didn't think about it. It's okay. It'll be okay. move that over because there was just a little bit of space showing there that wasn't the sticker where the sticker curved and I didn't want that little bit of space trapped there okay now her uh, I think I will put like this so I think what I will do is take the sticker off of here And then carefully stick that only to her leg. Okay, now I'm going to cut off that foot and potato her foot. <laughs> Poor girl. And I did scan her in and cut her because that other pattern is so old and brittle that I just thought I'd use this. Feels like I needed those to be touching. This is like two separate things. I don't know. Maybe I could put the sewing. Hmm. of this is too big it's like taking over I need something smaller and what I'm gonna do I think well I don't know it may not do what I want it to no nope, I'm not gonna do that I was gonna cut off those flowers but if I do that it won't be wide enough to bridge that gap there Terrible job. I tell you, I have not been, in, been doing a good job of cutting lately. It's really starting to bother me. Okay, let's put some ink on here. Kind of get the edges browned. scraps off of here. Okay. 
Now let's see if this will help. Bring the bottom together at least. I could have brought this, like angled it more and have the skirt and it touch and that would have worked great but I just didn't even notice what was happening. Oops, I don't have to glue it right there. Okay. I think I have thread represented. I've got it here and here and she's sewing and I've got the thread tops and then the fake stitching. So, there you go. Thank you for joining me. I'll have a, a link to make journals uh, her YouTube and I'll see you soon. Bye!